Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the five best airliners for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And here we have the Airbus A310 by INI Builds. It is a free aircraft and the A310 was a very welcome surprise that released for free with the 40th anniversary update. As you can see, it features fairly nice visuals. It's a very solid airliner and the first study level aircraft to be officially released for free for a, fl uh, for a flight simulator. Here we have the engines windmilling. As for the cockpit, as you can see, it is a pretty good representation of the A310. We do have uh, an EFB. We do have an overhead panel. Overall, a fairly nice aircraft. This is the Bay 146 Professional by Just Flight. It costs $65 on the Just Flight store. And this is the 300 series. Uh, this package features 8 variants from the 100, 200 and 800 series. You get passenger and cargo variants and there are even a couple of variants from the Royal Air Force. The Bay 146 has an iconic high T-tail. Four engines. The Bay 146 also features a very distinctive and powerful speed brake. As you can see, this is very very effective, making this an excellent aircraft for most runways. Having 8 variants, uh, this is a very nice package. As for the cockpit, the Bay 146 includes a fairly nice cockpit, uh, fairly unique. Here we have our brake temperature. This is your yaw damper and autopilot. This is where you engage your autopilot. As you can see, four throttles. It does have uh, an EFB, as you can see right here. Overall, another very, very nice aircraft. And it's a pretty nice package, eight variants from uh, three series, the 100, 200, and 300. Here we have the MD-82 Fly the Mad Dog by Leonardo. It costs around 80 US dollars on Sim Market. Another very iconic aircraft. I might sound a little bit biased, but I absolutely love the way the Mad Dog flies. The flight model is a joy to fly, and I mean hand fly. It's fun, and it just feels right when you're hand flying. Uh, the aircraft itself actually feels alive. This features pretty much everything a study level add-on should. 
You can fly this by following the real manual of the real aircraft. You get failures. You even have uh, functional circuit breakers. Right in the back, we have the two iconic engines all the way in the back, making a fairly quiet uh, flight for the for those that are inside the cockpit. You can open the nose to basically check the red dome. And you can open up the engine cowl so you can look inside. The cockpit for the MD-80 is fairly unique. It does have an EFB. Everything that should work in a real aircraft works here. So, looking up here, um, let's take a look at the circuit brakes, breakers. So we have air switching unit, you can pop the breaker. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the circuit breaker should be popped. See the white ring? So, captain's altimeter, HSI and heading. So, everything that should work, works. This is a fantastic aircraft for you to learn. It's very fun and it's quite hands on. It's, it's fun to fly this. And here we have the A310 by Phoenix. This is likely the best A310 for Microsoft Flight Simulator and it's going to be the best for a very long time if I had to take a guess. This feature is excellent visuals both inside and outside. The aircraft configuration is customizable. It has a full range of failures. You can actually fly this by following the real manual from the real aircraft. Currently, the Phoenix A310 includes the CFM variant. Uh, however, the IAE engine variant and Sharklet wingtips will be uh, releasing as a free update in the future. So that is very, very nice. Uh, the A310 is a fairly common aircraft nowadays, so there's, there's not a, like, a whole lot new we can say about it. It's one of the most common, uh, commonly flown planes around. And it's absolutely beautiful. The Phoenix A320 costs around 60 US dollars on the Phoenix uh, on their own website. As far as I know, they are not selling this anywhere else. As for the cockpit, it includes pretty nice visuals. The graphics are really, really nice. The, the aircraft was pretty, pretty much crafted with a lot of attention, attention to detail, but that does mean it's a little bit more FPS heavy. Speaking of the Phoenix A320, I do have to throw out uh, an honorable mention. The Fly-By-Wire A32NX is another excellent A320. It is a freeware and that's a really good price. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to include two A320s in the same video, so that's why we are just showing the Phoenix here. But the Fly-By-Wire A32NX is an excellent project. I have a lot of respect 
for the developers that are working on the A32NX. As you can see, we do have an EFB. And here we have the PMDG737. PMDG is known for their excellent planes, always delivering extremely detailed and high fidelity aircraft. And they delivered for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to recommend the version, the variant that you basically want to fly. The 737 released with the 800, 600, and 700, but they are sold separately. The 800, which is the most, uh, the most commonly used variant, is sold for 70 US dollars, and the 600 is being sold for 35 US dollars. The 600 has a bit of a shorter fuselage, and it's a single aircraft. So I'm going to be going over a little bit about what you get. And so, so the 737 by PMDG is truly an excellent aircraft. Both the 600 and the 800 are excellent. I have not flown the 700, but uh, I imagine it's just as good. The aircraft configuration is customizable, so that's very, very nice. Uh, the flight model is extremely satisfying to hand fly. It's really a joy to fly this. It's very, very fun. It also includes a full range of failures. It pretty much has everything a study level aircraft should have. The 600 features only a passenger variant, so just a passenger variant. However, the 800 features both passenger and cargo, as well as the BBJ. I absolutely love flying the BBJ. The BBJ is Boeing business jet, or big business, big business jet. Uh, so the Boeing business jet is fantastic. It's beautiful. Uh, for cargo, you get the BDSF and BCF versions. One is a dedicated cargo, a dedicated freighter, and the other one is a conversion passenger to freighter. PMDG also includes vehicles, so you have basically um, stairs and things on the airport, as well as shuttles so they can bring your passengers. The visuals, they are fairly nice, both inside and outside, as you can clearly see. A lot of attention to detail was paid here. As for the cockpit, it is the 737 cockpit most of us know and most of us love. For the PMDG, if you go on airplane services and ground services, you can request ground power, a jetway, AC unit. Next page, portable water, lavatory, maintenance van, fuel truck. You can set the wheel chocks, remove them. Stairs, packs, bus, and this includes a lot. This package, uh, the 800, it gives you a, a whole bunch of variants. You have passenger, cargo, BBJ, uh, dedicated cargo, uh, converted cargo. This is, this is fairly well-rounded. And right here we have the PMDG bus. You can load your passengers by using the FMC. Overall, a very nice aircraft, very much worth your money. If you're not sure, they do have the 600, which is just the passenger version, but it is a 737. 
So if you're not if you're not really into Boeings, but you want to fly a Boeing, the 600 is 35. If you do enjoy Boeings and you want to fly them a lot, the 800 gives you passengers, cargo, the BBJ, everything you could ask for. These are my top five airliners for Microsoft Flight Simulator as of December 24, 2022. And speaking of December 24, if you're here, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate you being here. Happy holidays. I have you. I hope I hope you have an amazing holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe. Fly safe. Bye-bye.